Hey guys, it's Chris. We're watching the Roman Kimball vlog. But instead of POV, it's FOV. I'm still talking. I'll run that back again. <laughs> Roman Kimball Vlogs. Roman's live. Let's go. On and off. On and off. Here we go. It is currently raining. And Roman is going live. It's raining. Camera cannot get wet. Yeah. Oh, get through there. Hey, boy. Hey. Boy, Rome. Yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah, let's not throw that off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how he throws. That was on purpose. There's two already. That was actually on purpose. Oh, oh. <laughs> Boy. Will Roman hit 95 and prove to me that the first 95 was not a misery? Maybe, maybe not. But I'm, as of now, it's a misery. He never hit 95. Hey guys, it's Chris. We're watching the Roman Kimball vlog. But instead of POV, it's FOV. I'm still talking. I'll run that back again. Get away. This is Roman Kimball's vlog, right? Instead of POV this year, it's FOV. Field of view. Because we're going to watch him pitch. <laughs> Get in. Yay! Jeez. Christ. Do we need another take and then you like pan over them? One more. One more. Alright, take, take three. Hey, it's Chris Fitch. I'll be commentating for the vlog. This year, instead of POV Roman, it's FOV. Field of view. Oh, yes, yo. Yo, that's the shot. Sure, but. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. my, no. 97? That's gone yesterday. Bow, bow, bow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, steal me. Just be honest. It's not about the it's about stuff. Stuff plus change the slide of the curve. Verdi fastball. He can throw hard, but like, you gotta have stuff that swings and but misses the bat. That 95 was also a misread. Hey, I've only, I've, I've only hit 95 once since DJ, so. Okay. Oh boy, boy, run out, boy. Again. So, so two pitches at the same spot. Top of the zone. So if you get the pitch at that same exact spot, you've got to swing. Three two. Again. I would more likely say it's gonna be heater same spot. Right? Hopefully. Come chrome. Yep. Yeah! Hey wait, that way, Roman! That's what happens when you throw the ball in the ball. Three. All right. Here we go, here we go. 
Yeah! All right, Cole. Come on, Roman. Come on, Cole. Yeah! Yes, Mark! <laughs> no, no, I was hit. I was hit. Oh my gosh. Hey! I mean, that kid is a really good hitter. Kid's really good hitter. It's not real, actually. I want to say. They hit the 10, but I feel like a real First live. Good. It's Parker Nolan, bro. What do you do? Adam! Parker Nolan's hard out, man. It's unreal. Strikes, man. Strikes. Let me see. Let me see something. We hit here. We hit. All right, y'all. It is a couple days after the first official scrimmage outing for me since Tommy John. I um, figured I would recap it a little bit for y'all since it's an actual scrimmage. Um, there was defense behind me and everything, and I uh, actually got to like, pitch and play for three outs, whereas compared to live at-bats, I was just going for pitches per like inning, I guess you could say, even though it wasn't really like an actual inning. It was more just strictly based on pitch count. Um, but yeah, no, I uh, thought I threw pretty well the other day. Um, obviously wish I had gotten a couple pitches back. Uh, I know the home run to Parker, um, wish I had honestly just gotten that pitch back. Um, just change up down and in to a lefty, especially of, of his caliber, really, really good hitter. Um, all credit to Parker. He just kind of saw it out of the hand and sat back on it and drove it, uh, to right field for a homer. But, um, you know, other than that, uh, I just had a bad bad fastball to Talmadge um, that hit him in the arm and had a 3-2 slider to Reeves as well um, and honestly haven't really been throwing the slider too much um, in bullpens and in catch play and everything just because we've been focusing more on the curveball and the changeup. Just uh, not a great slider at all by any means, just up and away, not even close to the, to the strike zone. So wish I could have gotten those three pitches back as a whole um, on the outing, but I'll show the, the pitch to Parker on the screen. The plan was to go into this inning and just kind of work on the changeup. Ideally, I would have thrown a fastball right there and uh, tried to get it up and in to play off that first changeup I threw him, which was low, middle of the zone, and uh, just ended up leaving it down and in, and obviously he was able to do some damage to it. Overall, pretty solid outing. First time going out there since surgery. Three innings, five strikeouts. Thought it went pretty solid, and... You know, commanded the ball pretty well, uh, was ahead to a lot of hitters, and, you know, it, it was good. Um, felt really good to be back out there, a nice sigh of relief for me because it's been a really long time. But, yeah, so to kind of get into the data a little bit, um, basically going to be showing you all the TrackMan data, um, some of the analytics from the scrimmage the other day, basically, um, you know, stuff like that. So. I'll put this up on the screen for y'all right now as I'm talking about it, but uh, average fastball was 91.3, which for the first time going out there isn't honestly terrible at all. I'll take that. Uh, hit a 94 at 93.7. Spin rates were all good. Um, Velos on everything were good. Movement on everything was good as well. Basically just kind of looking at strike percentage here, 58%. Obviously don't want to be that low. Um, would much rather be in the 65% range for, for strike percentage. First pitch strikes was 42%. Um, honestly, kind of felt like I had more first pitch strikes than that, but obviously not. Um, would like to have first pitch strike percentage be around 65% as well. One thing I will look at here is the fastball edge percentage, which is on the corners of the strike zone, was 38%, which is, is really good. Um, you know, obviously I'm not going to be on the corners all the time, but to be on, on the corners 38% of the time, I feel like that's pretty solid. Another thing I want to note too is the 
umpire that we had on Saturday was extremely good. He did not miss a single call for me. So really can't say anything about that. You know, um, everything he called on the TrackMan report, as you can see right now, is, is perfect. He didn't miss a single call. Everything that was a ball was a ball, and everything that was a strike was a strike. Always good when you have a consistent umpire back there and he's going to keep a consistent zone through the remainder of your outing. Like I said, only gave up one hit. It ended up being a homer, unfortunately, but solo homers really won't do that much damage to you. And to be able to, to limit, um, you know, guys on base um, when, you know, there's a guy there at the plate who, who has the potential to do a damage of hitting a homer is, is always good too. And I feel like I did a good job of that the other day of making sure that I got guys out when I needed to. And um, obviously, like I said, I had the hit by pitch and a couple walks, but felt like other than that, I was really around the zone and, you know, threw everything for strikes and, you know, just went out there and competed. All right, y'all, it is bullpen day today. We're heading out to the pen right now. Me and Becker can throw about 250 feet and then uh, get a little pen in, probably about 15, 20, um, see how the arm feels. But uh, yeah, let's get it. I feel like that's just been the miss with that in bullpens. It's just that low and away. It's just sides. I feel like I'm just too rotational with that. Ah! You got two inches of carry on the fastball, you got six hurt. Yeah, that's solid. You have to trust. Yeah, just trust it in the, the zone. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. since I brought the camera out. A couple different reasons. Um, number one, just been super busy um, with a lot of stuff. Pretty swamped with schoolwork last week. It has uh, been a hectic, hectic week. We've had a bunch of events to go to and stuff for, you know, leading up to the season and stuff like that. So it's been uh, pretty hectic. But um, reason number two is on the last scrimmage, not this past Saturday, but last Saturday, I had a little bit of lat soreness, um, kind of like right in this area right here, just kind of the middle of the lat. So I uh, took a couple days off, have been back to throwing, um, feel really good, threw a nice little light bullpen today. Um, just haven't really been filming anything too much just because, you know, been prioritizing just getting that lat feeling 100% again. Um, so took a couple days off, didn't throw on the scrimmage this past week. I know it's been uh, on social media and stuff that I didn't throw and um, that like there was a, a injury and stuff and uh, I feel like most of the people have probably already seen it. But um, yeah, nothing crazy to worry about. Just took some medication, um, took a couple days off, did some treatment on it, it's been feeling good. Going to get a nice little bullpen in Wednesday, full bullpen, and then hopefully be ready to go for this weekend pitch in the opening series. So I'm um, super excited. Um, season's a week away. I'm super pumped. Um, just a little minor issue. Um, nothing really for the fans or any of y'all to worry about. Um, it's being taken care of. Um, it's pretty much taken care of. I think right now it's been feeling great recently and um, the last couple days I've been throwing it's been feel feeling really good as well. So yeah, but um, that's pretty much it for this video. Y'all could see when I was going over the scrimmage, it was um, pretty cool to be able to be back out there for the first time in like two years. So uh, feels like it's been two years, I don't even know, but probably at least a year and a half. So pretty hectic, pretty fun, um, big step and uh, you know, Obviously, the season is right around the corner at this point, so it's pretty much rehab's done, and 
um, we're moving on and we're getting ready for this year. Yeah, but I'm pumped. I know y'all are pumped. Fans are pumped all around the country getting ready for college baseball. So super excited. The next video is going to be the first weekend series. Um, you know, uh, just like I said, haven't really been filming too much over the last about week and a half. Just kind of been dealing with this problem on my own and um, been in the training room a, a good bit over the last about week and a half as well. And just that was pretty much the videos over the last like year and a half. So I figured y'all probably would not want to see me just kind of in the training room getting all that stuff done or, and whatnot. So I uh, just kind of stayed away from that, took a week off and um, getting prepared for the season this upcoming week and uh, just, you know, focusing on feeling good and, and being 100% healthy and ready for opening weekend. But like I said, that's it for this one, guys. Hopefully y'all did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like down below. Also, if you're new to the channel, be sure you subscribe. And if you haven't already, be sure to click that little bell so y'all can get notified every single time I upload new content. And yeah, we're five days away from the season, four or five days away. I'm super, super pumped. It's been a long time coming, uh, a year and a half's worth of work. Um, to you know get healthy and and all this work I've put in over the last year and a half is gonna come to fruition this weekend and I'm super pumped um, cannot wait to see y'all all at Founders Park packing that place out getting ready for the season and yeah that's it y'all I will see y'all Friday night Miami Ohio four o'clock Founders Park season begins let's get it boys see y'all